All right, all right. Welcome to All I Must TV. My name is Remis Jix Animo, and this is a channel where you learn mathematics every day. And today we have a simple exponential challenge, which says 64 to the power of x equal to 16 to the power of 6 to the power of x, rather, plus 4 to the power of x. What there will be the value of before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that YouTube can notify you whenever we drop answer video like the one you're about to watch right now. Let's dive into today's challenge. So we take our solution, solution, we put down our equation, which is 6 to 4 to the power of x equal to 16 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x. From here, I want to divide through by 16, 4 to the power of x. And so if I do that, let's put it down in writing. Divide by 64 to the power of x. So if we do that, we're going to have here to be 64 to the power of x. All of 64 to the power of x equal to 16 to the power of x. All of 64 to the power of x. Then blocks. 4 to the power of x all over 64 to the power of x. The left hand side will take care of the cells to give us here 1 equal to, here we are now left with 16 to the power of x all over 64 to the power of x. There, flux 4 to the power of x all over 64 to the power of x. All right. Now, from here, we proceed again. If we look at the x, we can rearrange this expression because if we have uh, a to the power of m all over b to the power of m, this is the same thing as a all over b all to the power of m. If we apply this rule to our expression here, we're going to have here to be 1 equal to 16 all over 64 all to the power of x plus 4 all over 64 all to the power of x mm. all right now from here we can use 16 to divide 64 that will give us 4 and 4 into 64 will give us our uh, 16 and so we can rewrite this to give us your uh, 1 equal to 1 all over of uh, 4 all to the power of x blocks here we have your uh, 1 all over uh, 16 all to the power of x now we can express 16 uh, as 4 to the power of 2 because we want to make what we have here, what we have here now to be same here and so this will now give us 1 equal to 1 all over 4 all to the power of x logs 1 all over 4 to the power of 2 all to the power of x of course we can uh, express uh, the whole of this to the power of 2 because 1 to the power of 2 will still give us 1 and so we have this to be 1 equal to 1 all over 4 all to the power of x flux 1 all over 4 all to the power of 2 all into a uh, uh, square bracket all to the power of x now recall that if we have um a uh, to the power of m bracket n this is same thing x our a to the power of m n and we can rewrite this as a to the power of n or into m. So if we succumb to this rule, then we can rewrite this expression here as 1 equal to 1 all over 4 all to the power of x plus 1 all over 4 all to the power of x all into the square bracket of 2. At this point, we bring in another alphabet. So we can allow our 1 all over 4 to the power of um x to be any alphabet because what we have in here is same thing we have in here so we can say here let u equal to one all over four all to the power of x so this now implies one equal to our uh, u plus um u squared so if we rearrange this will give us u squared plus u minus one or equal to zero so we can solve this quadratically okay so if we have to solve this quadratically we use our quadratic formula we says u is equals to minus b flux minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 
2a. And from the expression above, we have our a to be, so a is equal to 1, with the coefficient of x squared, sorry, of u squared, and b is equal to 1 minus 1. And so from here, if we substitute into this a formula, we're going to have this to be our u equal to minus 1 plus minus the square root of 1 squared minus. So we're going to have this to be 1 squared minus 4 dot 1 dot minus 1 all over 2 dot 1. And so this will now give us minus 1 plus minus the square root of 1 plus because minus times minus will give up plus there yeah 4 all over 2. Again we proceed from here. This will now in turn give us yeah we're going to have minus 1 the plus minus the square root of 5 all over 2. Okay we have two cases here now. So case 1 this is minus 1 plus root 5 all over 2 or here we have minus 1 minus root 5 all over 2. Of course this is going to give us less than 0 and so we reject this one. We can rewrite this as root 5 minus 1 all over 2. Okay I just interchange the position of um, the uh, two figures here. Okay now recall we said earlier on that uh, we recall that we said let uh, u is equal to 1 all over 4 all to the power of x and this is our u and so okay i put it down here this is equal to u so wherever we see u we put in the value root 2 root 5 minus 1 all over 2 so this now implies root 5 minus 1 all over 2 equal to 1 all over 4 all to the power of x here we're looking for uh, x so we take the nm of both sides so if we take the in of both sides which is the natural log of both sides it's going to give us here nn a bracket root 5 minus 1 all over 2 or close bracket equal to the in of 1 all over 4 all to the power of x now recall the law of which says that if you have your in of uh, p to the power of x then it says move this p backward and so this will give us here x i n p all right so if we succumb to this rule again the right hand side of our equation will now become the i n bracket open root 5 minus 1 all over 2 close bracket or equal to x i n um, bracket 1 all over 4 okay so we proceed from here again now from this point we can divide through by i n bracket 1 all over 4 and so if we divide by this we're going to have here i n bracket 1 all over 4 close bracket all over i n bracket 1 all over 4 all right this we go with this here we are left with x so our x we in turn become x equal to i n bracket or root 5 minus 1 close bracket all over 2 okay all over uh, i n bracket 1 all over 4 all right we can as well simplify further to get the value so if you put this into your calculator you're going to have a certain value we can equally apply the law of division of logarithm but for the sake of this video i will uh, put a stop at this point and so our, our answer is there so this is our final answer if you impute this into your calculator whatever value it gives you if you put it into our uh, initial uh, equation you're going to have the correct answer and so if you have gained something special from this simple video videos kindly give it a thumbs up and do not forget to share with your family and friend members who need this knowledge thanks for always be there remember ijx loves you bye for now